Hey guys, General McBadass here, and today I've got another build for you. Today's build is the John Wick build. John Wick is a professional hitman known for his ruthlessness and brutality in completing a job. Today's build will focus on akimbo weapons as well as lightweight vests and dodge. Please note, I realized in the film John Wick, the character was never actually seen using akimbo handguns. But in this game, the introduction of akimbo is paired with the introduction of John Wick and the rest of the build is befitting of the character itself as well. The necessary skills today revolve around akimbo weapons, dodge, and self-sustainability. In Mastermind, you want Equilibrium, Gunslinger, Pistol Messiah, in Ghost, you want Sprinter, and in Fugitive, you want Thick Skin, Duck and Cover, Quick Fix, Uppers, Low Blow, Sneaky Bastard, and Akimbo. For our perk deck, we're going to be using the Crook perk deck. So, as you can probably see, this is a very point intensive build. I've already been maxed most of my skills, and with the rest of my points I was only able to pick up a few things, such as Die Hard, and Transporter Enforcer, and in Ghost, Fast Hands, Cleaner, and Cat Burglar. Now before we get to the weapons, I wanted to talk a little bit more about this build, and mainly, the Fugitive Tree. So I found Low Blow and Sneaky Bastard to be much more handy on higher difficulties than Trigger Happy or Bullseye, and I don't think those skills are quite worth the points. Also, there are a few skills which I would have loved to have been able to ace had I the points to do it, namely Sneaky Bastard and Uppers. I've played a little bit with point allocation, for example, acing Sneaky Bastard and having Low Blow basic, or taking off Pistol Messiah to get Sneaky Bastard aced or Uppers aced. You can even switch Pistol Messiah for Inspire, just to be a team player. Though this build is meant a little bit more to be a lone wolf, self-sustained type of build. However, the way I've allocated my points is the way I prefer the build, so this is the way I enjoy using it, though I encourage you to play around with it yourself. One last thing I want to talk about is Sneaky Bastard and Low Blow. To get the maximum benefit of these skills, you have to reach a certain visibility. If the skills are basic, you need to reach 5 visibility, and if they're aced, you need to reach 25 visibility. So although you don't need to ace the skills, trying to create a good setup within 5 visibility is quite difficult and it would really limit your options. So with my build in mind, I can only reach 16 visibility, and I wouldn't get the full benefit of the skills unless they're aced. And as you can currently see, I only have enough points to ace out one of the skills. So I chose low blow because with 16 visibility I would only get an 18% crit chance. The maximum dodge I can get with a lightweight ballistic vest in Sneaky Bastard is 35. And with my current setup I have 31 dodge. So I think having Sneaky Bastard basic is good enough. Low blow aced would grant me 30% crit chance and that is much better than 18%. For our weapons today, we're going to be using an akimbo primary, and for our secondary, we're going to use a high concealment weapon to keep as low visibility as possible. For the primaries, we're going to be using the akimbo Bernetti 9 pistols, with a competitor compensator, micro laser, ergo grip, extended mag, and the elite slide. For our secondary, we're going to be using the judge with HE rounds, King's Crown Compensator, and the Compact Laser Module. For our melee, we're going to be using the Nova Shank. For our armor, the Lightweight Ballistic Vest. And for our equipment, the First Aid Kit, also known as the Cupcakes. So those are the skills, the weapons, and the whole build. This time, it's personal. This is the funniest thing. Taking a look at this chat right here, you could not tell that there are four, four grown men in this lobby. <laughs> I don't know. Truly mature men right here. Truly. Anyway. So this is a build that's a little bit more selfish. It's made to go loud, definitely. Although it is very enjoyable, so I guess uh, I do have quite a few things to talk about. Bag has history, all the 
particular achievement. Let's see, first thing, bus stop. Because on Death Wish, uh, going loud for this, you can use Thermite, makes it easy to get into the vault, but getting out is a pain in the butt. So I'd much rather, uh... I'd much rather do this instead. Good luck. Anyway, so yeah, let's let's start discussing the uh, the actual build itself. Like I said, it is a little bit selfish right now because you do have Pistol Messiah and you do have a lot of skills that are just for weapon proficiency and combat proficiency. You know, you don't really have like a saw or C4. You don't have stuff like that. But what I will say about this build that I've been that I've noticed quite a lot is that if you roll with this type of build, you are a one man army on overkill. Like, there's not really much that can stop you. You know, Piston Messiah will save you if you go down. Your your cupcakes, your mini meds, will help you if, should you be in that, you know, bad situation. And Swan, Swan Song basically almost guarantees that you can uh, put yourself in a better position to make sure Piston Messiah works. So the only thing stopping you really is a cloaker. Or a taser. If you get, like, tased and then you get tased down. Because that'd be pretty bad. Is the entire crew. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna do some Big Bank Loud, because that's always enjoyable, right? Oh boy. Remember, remember, four grown men in this lobby, and one of them is doing this right now. Uh, what, what do we have? Let's see. Meds, meds. I have mini meds. Like I said, this is a little bit selfish, because as you can see, I only have seven of them. It would be nice to have... Nice. Would be nice to have 14, but uh, sadly, yeah, the build is uh, very, very point demanding, so I can't spare too many points into getting some of the nicer things. I can't even see no more. Uh, well, since we are doing loud, let's do that. Alright. Everybody's ready. So yeah, I've got my setup going. It's a big bank, but it's still a bank. It's a beautiful building, but we're bringing ugly business. We'll leave red, so look for their servers. Ooh, look at them. It's so tanky. But yeah, the the thing I enjoy most about this this build is that you know, you are the guy that just, you know, you're fast, you're it's it's a little bit more catered to somewhat of a lone wolf play style, you know, not heavily reliant on other people, but at the same time still not very, you know. He's answering the pager. There we go. Convert the enemy. All right, so we gotta go find key cards. And of course, since this is the John Wick build, I'm using John Wick himself. And like I said earlier, I know John Wick never actually used akimbo weapons, but it's... Well, it's it's pretty befitting of the character, I mean. Overkill added the update with the John Wick build, probably because of not John Wick himself, but other, uh... sounded really close, I think it was this one. I was just preempting. It's this one. Okay, good. See? <laughs> yeah, I was preempting uh, doing it, so if he finished it, uh, I would have just stopped if uh, it wasn't the right one. So he's looking for key cards. Probably not going to find a key card. Getting stuck on things. Oh, I'm out of cable ties. There's no key card here. Whoa, something is hitting me. Okay. Yeah, those weak cops. Damn, they destroy you. Alright, uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the build. This, uh, this akimbo setup is not half bad, you know? Like, I've been using it on Deathwish, I do not feel, uh... It doesn't feel nearly as bad as it once was before. 
And that's beautiful. It really is. Because before the Akimbos took pistol skills, they were woefully underpowered. Uh, not only slow, but, you know, they had a slow reload, didn't do enough damage. Basically, everything about them was pretty bad. And uh, right now, it's actually not... They're not too bad. So, in the beta, they actually took the full... The full bonus of Gunslinger. But right now, after the, uh, the update, it only takes half. I guess the reasoning is because you have two guns, it'll take half of Gunslinger, and half of it applies to each weapon, giving you the full bonus of Gunslinger. I guess, I guess that's what the, you know. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that's what the reasoning is. Although, I don't, you know, it's a little weaker, maybe it takes like one, two more shots to kill, but it's still pretty good, it's still pretty good. The damage buff is nice, the reload is really nice. How courteous, they waited till I got unflashed to start shooting me. Oh boy. Flashes for days though, that's death wish in a nutshell. Nutshell. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm dead too. <laughs> Taser now. Okay, we'll try to get them back, hopefully. Oh. Oh, that's not my grenade button. That is. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, swan song. Oh, he killed the guy I was going to kill. But, well, I guess I didn't have to kill yet. <clears throat> now it is. I can't get a guy. They're not coming here. Oh, too late. <laughs> Damn, well, this is a very, this is a very demanding death wish. It's not the easiest one, so. I will say we will run into problems. Anyway, the build itself is not bad, not bad. As you can see, it's, it holds its own on death wish. That being said, it's very point intensive and it's, it's quite difficult to get to. Oh, I think he got swan song. So with this build, what you can do is, right now I have Crook and Lightweight uh, Ballistic Vest armor. But what you can do is you can interchange it with a light, or not even a light, but uh, a suit. And a a rogue, a rogue perk deck. Oh, shit. And it's, it's still pretty effective. Thanks for that, thank you very much. Still gotta rewire the time lock. Look for the marked out hostage. Then free them. Then the police will release Dallas from custody. Wait, wow, that's a random ass place. It's always the most random places that you'll find the the last civ remaining. Alright, let's try getting up there. Snipers probably so I'll preempt this by taking one of these. Sniper down. Sniper down. Looks like we're having technical difficulties. Maybe. Can't really tell. Um, yeah, so the way dodge works uh, these days is, well, it, it's actually better, in my opinion, than it was before. So let me rewire this, then I'll invite you, Devin. Have to change my perk there. That would uh, that would make things a little bit difficult. So yeah, dodge these days is better. A suit dodge actually has 
the same or more dodge than before. I don't really know the numbers exactly, but I, I know that dodge is, is really good these days. That's all. Just from experience and playing it. And, you know, if you guys know me, I love my lightweight ballistic vest, so... What the Crook deck and Fugitive does in tandem together is beautiful. Like, it gives me better armor for my ballistic vest. Almost bulletproof status if I were wearing a, you know, a lightweight ballistic vest and I had bulletproof. That's basically what it is. And I still get dodge. I still get really good dodge. So I have 35 right now. Or 31 right now. I could get up to 35 with the... With the Sneaky Bastard skill. I'll just do that. Oh, can't see no more. Lovely. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Oh my lord. The one downside of this build, I can't pick up uh, stun resistance, and stun resistance is almost a must on death push missions. Yeah, so the reason why I bring... Oh, shit. Oh! That was pretty close. The reason why I bring an HE round shotgun secondary is basically... The primaries cover for most anything, snipers, uh, you know, general cops, but for the specials that I can't deal with, like a shield, a dozer, three shots, this is what I bring it for. And the judge is the most concealed, well, not the most concealed, I think you might be able to mod the locomotive to be more concealed than the, uh, than the judge, but I don't know what's happening here. But yeah, as, as you can see, these akimbos are not bad. I've seen plenty of people actually complain that the, uh... I'll take that. That the akimbos are shit now. They're, like, unusable on Deathwish because, uh... You know, it doesn't have the same damage that it did in the beta. It is to my expert calculations that the akimbos are worthless on Deathwish. That's basically the idea I get from the, the people saying this kind of stuff. Because, like, it, they're still good. They're still really good. They just they don't do the same damage they did in the beta. They maybe take a shot or two more to kill things. Oh no! Oh no! Whatever shall we do? It's not a car four. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Such a shame. Such a shame that people like this... That play like this, you know? It's like, these are the same, same people that would play, like, Call of Duty with the most OP weapon. Just because, you know... It's like... Yeah, it's like, it'll get them the best results. Yeah, it'll get you the best results, but you won't... Oh, shit, what the hell? But you're not gonna really have any fun. And there's no variety. You're a born-ass motherfucker. And he's desynced all the hell. So this is why I like the Crook deck better than the, uh, the Rogue deck. As you see right there, I can actually take quite a few shots. Even on Death Wish. And that 50 armor versus 20 armor, which is what you would get with a suit and a rogue uh, setup, is much... It's it's very nice. Like, you're a tanky suit guy. And the plus side, you do still have dodge. You have 30 as opposed to 50. You can get 50 with a full with a full rogue setup with a Sneaky Bastard and rogue, the rogue perk deck uh, maxed out. So, you know, 35 versus 50 is, is quite a bit of dodge, actually, but it's still good. Like, you still get a decent amount of dodge, even with a white, lightweight ballistic vest. I know a lot of people here will disagree with me, you know, since since they changed how, uh... Oh, boy. Shit. I'll just do this. No cloaker. No cloaker. No cloaking. Oh. He, he tried to cloak me. We need to get that guy back. Oh boy. That was a run. Nope, not that way. 
I just see a bunch of guys spawn from the elevator. I might be able to sneak in and just grab him. Well, if I have to, I'll swan song out. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. See, swan song is good for situations like this. Ooh, I got melee and I got flashed. Oh god, that is bad news. Ooh, I'm safe. Okay. Yeah, see, this is why I bought this med back here. Anyway. So, I, 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 I'm not really conveying my thoughts very well right now because I'm spending a little bit too much time focusing on the actual mission. Death Wish is a... Uh, Death Wish Big Bank is quite demanding, loud. It's not the easiest one to do. Okay, I'm not gonna convert that guy because we do have a guy in custody, which we would like back. I don't know where I'm getting shot from that way. Oh. He's dead. Although if I if I could get a guy converted, that'd be nice. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm spamming my. Shout key. Oh no, he's dead. Oh! There's a guy right here. I'll take that, thank you very much. Yeah, you have fun with that, Devin. Ooh! Three shots. We got a shield no more. Drop it. Drop the gun. Ah, no one's putting their hands up. Oh. <laughs> oh man. You can see I did get a little bit of help from uh, my my friend here, but like these akimbo M9s are really good. You know, it says it does 30 damage. Um, with low blow, though, the crits, you will be doing a lot more than 30 damage when you get the crits. And plus, it's a really spammy weapon, so you're pretty likely to get a good, a, a fair amount of crits without uh, without even noticing. No, oh, they saved the guy. You want to put your hands up again? There you go. No one stays free for long. Time for me to pick up some ammo. Thank you very much. Your contributions will not go to waste. Let's see, is my converted still alive? No. Time to convert. Ooh, okay. Stop hurting me. Nah, he's not, he's not gonna stop. I'll convert this guy. They traded that guy. And I even got another guy to convert. Awesome. So yeah, I have Dodge, Dodge after the updates have been, uh, it's pretty good. It's really good now, actually. Better than it was before. And with the, with the synergy with, uh, Dodge and the Fugitive Tree now, you know, these mini-meds, it's really nice because these mini-meds are pretty much meant for Dodge users. Like, Dodge is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a set chance whether or not you'll dodge a bullet or not. So sometimes you won't be able to dodge the bullet, you'll be able to take, you know, you'll take some damage. But with these mini-meds, you know, if you do happen to take the damage, you can just, you know, alleviate the problem. And, you know, quickly, uh, fill up your health back to full, and then you can go back to, you know, dodging stuff. And it's a really nice playstyle, because it always keeps you on the move. Whereas, you know, med packs, they're, they're in a set spot for, you know, for as long as they last. And you can't really do much with them, other than that. You know, they re they do reset your downs while these, uh, mini meds will not. But, 
for, you know, people on the move all the time, these mini meds are wonderful. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Did I kill a dozer? I know I killed something. John Wick said something, but I didn't know what he said. <laughs> and I outright killed the dozer with HE rounds. That's the power of crits for you. Whereas normally you wouldn't be able to do that. Oh god, he revived me and I'm just fucking stunned. Flashbang, whatever you want to call it. Oh shit, I almost ran off the edge. Actually, I need to take one of those too. Very much. Damn, that drill is not not helping right now. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Go converted. Save me. Oh, I hear a lot of stuff in that room. I'm getting out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Serpentine, they can't hit me. Da, 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 da. God damn. I'm sorry, I'm not really talking about the build so much, but I mean, like, from just looking at it, what can I say? It's not half bad. I mean, this entire time I've had a good amount of ammo. You know, I haven't died too much. I haven't heavily relied on people. If, if I'm in a hairy situation, I'll just get out and regather myself. You know, put myself in a more favorable position. And with, you know, with a pocket HE round secondary, I don't need reliance on other people. works as well. And these akimbos are great. I mean, the M9s, although I do love the look of the cross skills more, these M9s function very well, you know. It says it does only 30 damage, but you have 294 rounds to start off with. And with all the crits you're getting, you're doing a lot of damage, left and right. As some people have called it, it's like a little mini LMG, because, he, you know, when you have extended mag, you have, what, 50-something rounds? Yeah, 52 rounds. But they're super accurate, super concealed, so... It's almost just like a... an LMG. Just a really small LMG. Very enjoyable to use. I finally started running out of ammo, though, so we will have to, uh... Probably hit an ammo bag soon. And for Deathwish, I find it best to have both meds and mini meds. Like, I will be able to supply health for, you know, the people that don't have Berserker. And to keep uh, the people, you know, like myself and other people going longer. I have a key. What am I doing? And it's not a, a matter of whether, you know, which one is better. They're both good in their own respects, you know. Like I said, the mini meds are good for, for really mobile users. They, you know, they're always moving. They're always uh, never staying in one spot too long. So things like, you know, Hoxton Breakout Day 1. Very good for this. Uh, I'll just let him do that then. But, you know, doing things like rats, day one, you know, where you're not really going anywhere. You're kind of just stuck in the house, kind of staring at the uh, the bottom of the stairs. You're not really moving anywhere. Meds are probably so very better because, you know, they last a lot longer. Uh, you know, theoretically, they, they keep you for 24 downs while mini meds only keep you supplied for 14 downs. Should you have the little mini meds aced. God, these keys are terrible. There we go. 
So it, I find it best to actually combine them, combine them both. Like I said, you know, for people that don't rely on Berserker, you can have the mini meds, eat the cupcakes, and just you know always be in a situation that's you know you're not near death at all times. Because on Death Wish, that's one of the things that is a big problem. You're always near death. You know, after you've died, you only spawn with a sliver of health, and... I'm surprised Fork didn't die. He has no existing health right now. And, uh, yeah. I think we got everything right. No, not this. Oh, boy. <laughs> I could have saved him. I didn't know where he was, though. I mean, as you can see, this build not bad. Biggest downside, though, is although you are very combat effective, it is a very selfish build, and you do have to... You have to be relatively high leveled. You know, you have to be able to get at least Gunslinger and the Akimbos. I mean, you could go with the Hitman perk deck, but the Hitman perk deck, uh, personally, I really don't like using. It's not useful to me. I haven't even needed to use my uh, Pistol Messiah yet. The Pistol Messiah is most noticeable on things like Hawks and Breakout Day 2, where you know you need to leave the safety of your room or whatever to go do an objective, and that's when this build comes in really handy. Because like I could sacrifice myself and go out, but just get myself back up and complete the objective. Yeah, because right now we're not really going anywhere. We're just gonna sit in inside this bank and just kill things until the assault ends. Then once it ends, we're gonna grab the loot, take it as far as we can, and leave. Damn. These are very combat effective. Anybody that says they're not Death Wish viable is, uh, well, they're ding-dongs. Let's say it right now. You know, they may not be quite as efficient as your beloved car or locomotive, but damn doesn't do work. Plus, look how awesome these are. Just fucking unload on people. It's great. I may have a weird fetish. But, you know, it, it, it's whatever. Different people enjoy different things. Ooh. But trying to share all this ammo between uh, four people is difficult. So yeah, although you can get the Akimbos through the Hitman perk deck, I would not recommend it. The Hitman perk deck does not really increase your survivability all that much, sadly. Looks like the assault's actually about to end. Ooh, they still hurt though. Or maybe they're just spawning in an interesting spot. I don't know, I can't really tell you. Oh, looks like they're still spawning in. Oh, I got Swan Song. <laughs> see, see how nice Swan Song is. Oh shit, he revived me. Oh no, don't, no, oh, don't do that. I can revive myself. And now, it's gonna have a harder time to get him. Well, hold on, bag first. I'll get you later. <laughs> Yeah, you go away. I have dodge while I crouch. <laughs> they won't be able to hit me. Hopefully. Yeah, they like the all these skills that they've added have really just made an interesting setup, you know, for dodge users, users such as myself. Like they've given you dodge on crouch for us lightweight ballistic vest users. They've given us extra armor for it, so we're really tanky for speedy users. And these akimbos, they offer a nice low visibility setup. Probably best in a stealth situation, you know, where you fuck up. Like, like take this day, for example. You have, like, one guy with a, with a stealth setup. He's got low visibility, he's trying to stealth it, and you fuck up. You know, it's really easy to fuck up on Big Bank. There's a million things that can go wrong. But you're not gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to handle yourself, especially if you have this kind of build. 
And like I said, with Pistol Messiah, it's a very selfish build, but this is, uh... What I tried to make was a more of a lone wolf type build. So, you know, you can last a while by yourself. Like, I was playing on Overkill, and you could just run around for days, not worry about anything. Death Wish is a different story. It's really a bad idea to to run solo on Death Wish. But like I said, in this in certain situations, it is handy to have a user that runs this type of build. You know, especially for objectives such as the uh, the Hawks and Breakout ones I told you. Now it's just move bag and simulator. Oh my god, the bags! So many! Take that, thank you very much. Oh boy. Life without fast hands ace is kind of bad. Although, having transporter is much better than having uh, fast hands. I would much rather have, have transporter than fast hands. Alright, so that wasn't bad. We even did it on our first try. It's pretty casual. So, dodge with Crook. Very good. Very good. Like I said, in this build, you can exchange Crook with a rogue suit setup. Uh, you get more dodge, but you're not quite as tanky. You can't take a few bullets. And the akimbo changes? Uh, very good. You know, they've made them pretty decent. They're not nearly as good as they were in the beta. Like, they were noticeably different. But they're still worthwhile to bring should you have this kind of build. It's not terrible. And of course, you know, the... It's it's really enjoyable. So, most kills, 161. And highest special count, 59. That was Fork. Uh, for me, I didn't even do that much worse. And he's like a full tech forcer. Actually, no, just a full enforcer. So, you know, I can keep up with the enforcers. That's, that's not a problem. And uh, if this doesn't really tell you that the build is fine, then, well, I really don't know what will. Hey, look, I get cash. Cash money. That's right. So, the akimbos work incredibly, incredibly well with crits. I mean, if you couldn't tell, when you lay on some of the dozers, some will die very fast. Some will die, well, relatively quickly, but... It's, uh, yeah, this build has a lot of synergies that work well together. The low visibility, the akimbos, the dodge, the crits, I mean, it's just... Whatever Overkill was thinking, they, they, they thought right. Like, this entire setup is just lovely. It really is nice for us fast, uh, fast dodge users, and it's... I really don't know what else to say. It's, it's great. And as you can see right here, I've just converted another person. No more armor. All about that there DODGE!